Iran achieves laser weapon systems deflection technology. The Iranian army has achieved a deflection technology of laser weapon system. Executive Deputy Head of Qatam Al Anbiya Air Defense Base General Shahak Aram said. Laser weapons can be easily diverted from target, he said, adding that Iranian army has the technology. He also went on to note that Iran is able to manufacture laser cannons. Iran has recently stated that it has reached self-sufficiency in essential military hardware and defense systems. Tehran established an arms development program during the Iran-Iraq war in the 1980s to counter the weapons embargo imposed on it by the US and its Western allies. Since 1992, Iran has manufactured its own tanks, armored personnel carriers, missiles, radars, boats, submarines and fighter planes. Why NATO hated Iran S-200 the Cold War's longest range air defense system. S-200 long range surface to air missile system played a central role in Soviet air defenses for most of the Cold War and began to see exports across much of the world from 1982 with several clients. Continuing to operate it. Its primary operators today include North Korea, Syria, Iran, Poland and Bulgaria which all purchased the missile systems in the 1980s and 90s, and Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan and Azerbaijan which inherited them after the Soviet collapse. Designed to be able to protect high-value targets from all types of air attack. As a higher-end and longer-range counterpart to the more widely used S-75 system which had begun to enter service in the Soviet military from 1957. The first S-200 units became active nine years later from 1966 and would remain in service until 1996 when the collapse of the USSR and end of the Cold War led Russia to retire very large quantities of Soviet-era air defense systems. In Soviet service 18 S-200 sites and over 342 launchers were deployed very quickly by the end of 1966 and by 1969 60 sites were operational, with deployments peaking at 130 sites and 2.030 launchers in the 1980s. Missiles used radio elimination with mid-course correction throughout most of its flight, before using semi-active radar homing in its terminal phase, and detonating either a 217 kg high explosive fragmentation warhead or a 25 kiloton tactical nuclear warhead the latter which could only be triggered by command signal. The discrepancy in performance between S-200 seconds produced in the 1980s and the original 1960s variants was very significant, with the top-end S-200D variant having a 300 km engagement range compared to just 175 km for the original S-200A. Later variants had a higher flight ceiling of up to 40 km were more versatile with a superior anti-ballistic missile capability, and had a much higher probability of hitting their targets. They could also engage targets traveling at low hypersonic speeds of up to Mach 6, compared to speeds of just Mach 4 for older variants. 
and have a detection range against targets of up to 600 kilometers and the ability to search for targets in space at altitudes of over 45,000 meters, both capabilities ideal for ballistic missile defenses. Each S-200 battalion uses six single-rail missile launchers and a fire control radar, and the system was deemed with engagement against ballistic missiles as well as larger aircraft such as bombers and mined. The system could also threaten fighters, however, even at longer ranges, and in Syrian hands was responsible for downing U.S. Navy F-4 and Israeli Air Force F-16 jets. Despite its impressive capabilities, 